All right, first up, we have this pair of Texas Steer boots. They are soft toe work boots. Uh, K-Max, I think it's a Kmart brand. These are size 12. Decent, they're used, but only just barely. I'm not sure these were ever actually worn. They sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Shipping was actually more than the cost of the boot, but you know what? It's a good deal if a person needs a pair of these. So those are going out. Parcel post. Actually, I don't know if they use parcel post anymore. I think it's just considered ground. They change the terms every once in a while at the USPS. Got a fair amount of vinyl going out. This one is the Modest Mouse Life of Arctic Sounds 7 inch. Very nice white vinyl on that one. That went for $5.99 plus shipping. Next up is a 10 inch record from Rocky Votolato. Friend of the family, Rocky Votolato. Uh, this one is purple vinyl on Second Nature Records. Excellent record. This one's sealed, so I'm not going to be able to show you the purple vinyl. But uh, that got $16.99 plus shipping. Next up, Leonard Cohen, I'm Your Man LP. This is a uh, UK pressing of a classic. Ah, I'm getting a lot of glare on here. Apologize for that. This is just black vinyl, nothing special about it. Covers got some breakthrough right here. It's not perfect, but it's not bad shape. That went for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, KMD, double LP here. Um, Ready Rock Records, Metal Face Records. Record's called Black Bastards. Apologize for the language, but that's what the record is called. See, it says right there, answer. Uh, this one, it's nice. It opens opposite the way a normal LP does. Black vinyl, two, two records, decent shape. Still in the original shrink wrap, uh, just opened on the end. It's got a uh, $15.99 original price tag on it, but that one went for $49.99 plus shipping. And then we have a pristine copy, brand new condition, minus the bear, Planet of Ice, double 12 inch. Gatefold cover with just a just an awesome image on the inside of the band. You can't make out anything but the hair with the light coming through in the back. I love this. This record came on a really beautiful light gray. I guess it's considered silver vinyl. It's really nice. Uh, there are printed inner sleeves also that are inside the record. I'm not going to take those out because they're fragile and this thing is going in fantastic condition. I want to keep it that way. But it's a nicely sought after record. This record went for $59.99 plus shipping. Okay, second batch of items going out a little later in the week. That's right, it's another one of these pre-wrapped items. This is a, well, you can't see it at all. It's a, a tin, like, pewter Viking ship. It's what they call a salt cellar. Um, it was just this cool little tin Viking ship. I'll put a picture of it up. And, uh, yeah, that sold for $11.99. Everything else from here on out this week is music. I sold a lot of music my first week back from my trip to Arkansas. And, yeah, that's what was going out the door. So let's see what other things went. All right, a little thing. Mark Chestnut CD. From a country record CD collection I had a while back. This went for $2.99. It's one of those things that really wouldn't be worth selling unless I was already selling other stuff and was gonna sit around and package stuff anyway. It's pretty easy to package and ship a CD, so $2.99 plus shipping. Pretty much the same thing with this one, Sergio Mendez. Hopefully I pronounced that right. This one went for $3.99 plus shipping. A little better, but uh, you know, still not, you know, breaking the bank or anything. I believe this is two CDs in one. Swinger from Rio and The Beat of Brazil. Wow. And then for the last of the CDs, I've got one of these small CD sets for CDs that were left over back stock from my label. These went for $4.99 plus shipping on eBay. Now back onto vinyl again. This is a collection of six, seven inches that I sell on eBay. Once again, it's back stock, mostly stuff from my record label. This went for $9.49 for these six, seven inches. 
This Die Hard Youth record is kind of like those CDs I showed earlier. It was cheap, $2.99, but since I'm shipping records anyway, I might as well ship this one. Die Hard Youth Clear Vinyl. Okay, this one's pretty cool. It's a quicksand, thorn in my side, split with the Stanford Prison Experiment, like promotional 7-inch, a nice red vinyl, and machine numbered. That one went for $7.99 plus shipping. They made quite a few of those. $7.99 is a good price for it. Moving on, we got this 7-inch from the Gits. It's the second skin 7-inch. Last 7-inch from this band. Very nice. Very nice record. Released on Broken Records in 1991. That one went for $12.99. Now here's a weird one that I had not seen before, uh, was not even aware of, but now I'm glad I am. This is a band called Far and a band called Sea Pigs. This record went for $24.99. Not a lot of those out there, I take it. And here's a band that has surprised me lately. This isn't the first time I've encountered this. This is Zeke. This is the Holly 757 inch. IFA Records. Now, I'm pretty sure Zeke was a Seattle band, Seattle area band anyway. Um, this went for $49.99. Zeke stuff is sought after these days. So, was very happy to get that record and happy to sell it. All right, back into LP territory. This is The Makeup, Destination Love, Live at Cold Rice. Discord Records. I don't see what year, but from what I understand, this is the, uh, they're basically, they formed out of the ashes of the nation of Ulysses, and this was their first record. So that one went for $11.99 plus shipping. And here we have the John Spencer Blues Explosion, Now I Got Worry LP on Matador Records, 1996. And this one is still sealed in the original shrink wrapping. So it went for $22.99 plus shipping. And the final item for this week, Shudder to Think, Get Your Goat LP, Discord Records, 1992. Beautiful record, black vinyl. This one went for $34.99. All right, and here's the second batch of stuff going out. I got to pack this stuff all up and ship it today. This batch of stuff included with the prior batch of stuff that I shipped a few days ago, it all adds up to a grand total of $372.31. Not bad for a week. I'll take it. And you know, that number does not include things like eBay fees, PayPal fees, uh, the cost that I had to, you know, pay to the people. In some cases I was selling these for people. So sometimes their cost comes out. So that number is not, you know, what I banked in the end. It's just the gross amount that came in and yeah, that's it. Another Tuesday totals. Thanks for watching. See you next time.